traction issues. How long will this old golf run on a full tank of fuel at idle? Imagine that you're going to sleep in that car for days. How many days are you going to be able to sleep in it without topping it up on fuel? Glad to use it. Right, so that's at zero. Are we ready? We're ready. Are we ready? We're ready. Here we go. So I've made a fuel level chart. So what we've got is Monday the 11th, which is today, and 14.45 is when we started it, and it was a full tank. So what I'm going to do every day, I'm going to update the chart so I can tell you. I don't know if it is going to be two weeks. I don't know if it's going to be two days. So it's been 24 hours. Come on, let's see. You can still hear that clutch rattling. Look at that. 24 hours and one minute on the, on the dial. Not, it hasn't dropped at all. Have a quick look under the bonnet. People came out with comments. My favourite one was, it'll block the DPF. It doesn't have a DPF. It's a Mark IV. It's all still there. Still it's going. definitely spinning. you got to place your bet. Some people said 60 hours. Well, we've been running 24 hours now and the gauge has not moved at all. This is the experiment of the year. Tell your friends. Share it to them. Ask them how long do they think it's going to run for. I'll make a prize. Whoever can guess. The time, what should we say, within like 10 minutes, gets £100. I don't even know if I'm allowed to do 12, that. we're at 24 hours in. Tank still measures full. Which day it's not going to re read full? We're going to find out, aren't we? Day three, it's still running. If you get within 10 minutes of it, I'm going to give you £100. Have a look at the gauge. 44 hours and 39 minutes. We're a bit early today because I've got a school nativity to go to. I think it's just going to keep running forever. Like, no coolant issues, no squealing going on, nothing. But don't worry, the balls will be glazed. How long is it going to last? How long is it going to run for until that full fuel tank runs out? We're on day number three and the needle has just come a little bit off the full mark. Santa Monica 17-inch wheels. Ooh, winter pack, heated seats. Cruise control. Rain sensing wipers. I hate the sunroof, it's awful. Right, day three. Just a touch under the full mark, but we're early. It's 11.33 and we're normally doing it at 14.45. How long is it gonna last, people? Oh, it's day number four. This car has been running day and night. Uh-oh, we've got a problem. It's smoking. Told you we shouldn't do this. Glaze the bars, lad. Bad idea. Don't worry about that. Look quick. Oh, you just missed it. 72 hours. I really hope it's going to keep running. It's got problem. It looks fine. That's fine. That's nothing to worry about. If it is burning oil. Oh, do you think I should top it up? That's kind of be cheating, wouldn't it? There'll be people out there banking on that £100 for Christmas and they'll be like, I didn't get £100 because he cheated me out of it. He poured oil in the end and it ran an extra day. Give me my... A hundred pounds! Oh my God, it's Jason Bourne. Who knows where the oil's coming from? I've blown the welds on the intake, dear. What they knows is how you stand by your car. 45, half a tank. Ooh, is that gonna change people's minds? It's mind? day five. Count them. No more guesses from today. This could be the Christmas of your life. Pretty low now. We're at 96 hours and 16 minutes in. I think it's gonna run out like early hours in the morning. Uh, it suffered only two flat tyres covering zero miles. It's not really a lot of oil, is it? I'll say that this car run over 400,000 miles. I don't know because the mileometer doesn't work. I bet every single one of those Mercedes out there the mileometer works. Or we've got some red stuff down there. What's that? Uh-oh. I think it's candle wax. I think that's what they make the engines out of. Oh my God, it could be battery acid. I think they make them, they make them strong. Some people said the engine would have blowback. Poor, poor. God, we've got problems. <laughs> what the fuck even is that? I think it's absolutely fine. If I Friday fuel six, well. it's the golf update. And it's 20 to eight on the Friday. <laughs> What's that noise? And it stopped. An hour and 53 minutes, that'll have gone 100 and then reset itself. Just under 102 hours, 101 and 52 minutes. Let's see if it'll restart. Mm. 
No. No. No, she's empty. So I'm just putting 10 litres in because I think for this experiment to be correct, we need to know if it starts back up again and it hasn't died of a mechanical failure. Let's see. Come on. Uh, it's vibrating a lot. Is he going to pull that fuel through? Don't these things normally have like an electric fuel pump that you can hear running when you open and close the door? Oh, it's starting. Oh, she's away, look. Oh, yes. Look, you can see the engine's still hot. It sounds fine. Is there any smoke? Let's have a look. A little bit of smoke. Just clearing its, clearing the old pipes. The test is complete and the golf's fine. Ah, the balls aren't blazed. Is there any oil left in it? There you go, look, top of the stick. About 102 hours or just under uh, is how long your Mark IV Golf will run on idle on a full tank of fuel. Why? Why would you think it wouldn't make it? How could a manufacturer build a car that wouldn't be able to just be left on idle? That'd be the worst car ever. Right, it's the end. So it lasted 101 hours and 53. T. Got a couple of winners. Actually, two people that said the number 102. Somebody's done a bit of research there, haven't they? Someone's been like actually calculating. Very good. Well done, those two people. There were some people that were like 103 or whatever. What I'm going to do is create a threshold. So people that were with it five, either way, I'm going to make sure they get t-shirts. Did really good anyway. It's a great Christmas, isn't it? Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas.